Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this menu screen that we find ourselves looking at. There is an island on it, but, 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 last time we completed the game, we jumped into a World War II Japanese flying boat and we flew away from our archipelago paradise, only to, spoiler alert, crash once more. Anyway, we're going to do a new game plus, which means going to play. It means going to a new game. We're going to overwrite the old game. There's, there's nothing more for us there. So we're going to change the world to random. The mode is obviously single player. The co-op is couch co-op still, but you can use Steam if you want to play co-op remotely. Uh, the difficulty will be normal, as will the wildlife, because why not? Uh, the gender will be female, because I always play a female character in the games. Why would I want to look at a sweaty dude's butt? It doesn't make sense. Uh, starting crate. This is the this is a new game plus. So we're going to turn the starting crate on, and permadeath is off because well, I mean, it didn't seem to bother us last time, but let's just leave that off because I mean, we got a show to run here, guys, and we're going to hit start. Are you sure you want to start a new game? It will overwrite your existing save game. Spoilers. I back up my existing save games, so we're going to hit yes. And creating a new random world where I've already backed it up, baby. And familiar once more. We are loading into. I mean, there's the world outside. We've got a whatever that is. Oh, a. Uh, well, our laptop's gone. I mean, our Dell D600 is now out of the window. Oh, the drinks cabinet's gone as well. The drinks. Ca oh no, there it is. Hey, drinks cabinet. Will you be my friend? I bet, I bet the answer is going to be yes. Momentarily, as we roll over into the sea. Oh! Sploop. Okay, cool. Well, the drinks cabinet did become our friend. Not our best friend, but certainly our friend. I don't like this. I hate this. But this is my least favourite part of the game, honestly. Um, the crew is... Well, they're toast. Swarm to the life raft. Swim, baby! It's so loud! And then get into the life raft. And we find ourselves in Stranded Deep, back in the world, and there's a shark already there. Cool, that's wonderful. Um, grab that. Get this, and then paddle my way back to the island. There's a tiger shark on our butts, and I don't like it already. Why is that there? I don't know. So, we are paddling back to back to the world, back to reality, back to what is going to be our base for a while. And we can just stand up, get off here. Yeah, we can. Oh yeah, oh, starting crate, wonderful. Um, I'm just going to jump up here, grab you and pull you back onto the thing. Oh, there's two starting crates. <gasps> Whoa, two starting crates. Oh no, yeah, no, there are one and two. There's the rubber ducky. We've got the carbon spear gun. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, put you there. Then I'm gonna look at the carbon spear gun. This this is the the mythical. Oh look at that! Yeah, I can't do anything with it because I haven't got any ammunition in it. So I can just hold it out in front of me like a like a. Oh wait a second, we have ammunition. Two, three, four. Now we uh, now we can get it all charged up. So the carbon spear gun, the carbon spear gun is. Um, I think it's based off one of the original spear guns from the, the one of the early builds of the game. And yeah, so it's it's available for New Game Plus. I'm going to go and put that back in there because we don't need that. We've got the rubber ducky. Let's just have a quick look at the rubber ducky. Ooh, so he's the guy from the from the airplane. Spoilers, but yeah, rubber duck from the airplane. Wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. So we've got the rubber ducky from the airplane. Um, I think we... I don't know if there's a chi for getting them off or uh, out, of, out of paradise. Ooh, actual sunscreen. Uh, give me the sunscreen. I want to look at the tube. SPF 50. Wonderful. I mean, we're going to need it because we are now doing battle with the sun. Um, and what else have we got in the starting crate? Oh, an actual... Oh, look at that. An actual flashlight. I mean, we're holding it a bit weirdly. Like it's... Um, mm, we're caressing the flashlight. And a... Oh, look at that. That is one heck of a machete. Machete. Machete don't text. Right, okay, cool. So we're going to put these back in there because we don't need them for the time being. I'm going to hold that. That is that is kind of offensive having that on the screen. So we are hunting, cooking, harvesting, physical and craftsmanship are all zero. It's the 10th of March. EV is high. We are healthy and we're doing battle with the sun. Currently, 
currently everything is absolutely fine. So, um, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Let's see if that shark is still in the area. Hey, wait, why would you do that? That is the worst thing. Oh, Toidle. Hey, buddy. How are you? Okay, cool. Um, so, Starling Island, not too, too bad. I think the, sh oh, the sharks spawn when you get a certain distance out from the island. So they're not going to spawn until I go into an area where they can actually swim around. So that would be about that rock, I should imagine. Hmm. Well, we're not going to do that because we can't really fight him. We can't fight. We can't give him the fisticuffs. So we're going to have to do a bunch of things before nightfall. One of the things we're going to need to do is start making... I'll well, see what we can make, in fact. It's been a while since we've been this far down on our luck, but... I mean, that's not so much of a problem. We can drag this up the beach. We also have the... Oh! There are... F a physics item. I had no idea there would be a physics item. They are actual plastic crates. So not only do you get the starting crates, but you actually get the plastic crates. Wonderful. So we got a bandage, we got three rations and a compass. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We have the sea anchor and we have our paddle. Right, let's just start getting stuff on the beach next to the... Come, come, my lady, come, come, my lady. Uh, there we go. Cool. So we got that. I know we can put these in our pants. But have you ever put rocks in your pants? Because if you've never tried it, I would recommend doing it. Just just to say that you've done it. Um, we're also just going to start grabbing stuff from the shoreline. There we go. So we can physics object stuff. We can move stuff with our with our right mouse button physics object. Or we can just put it in our pants. Hmm, there's a wreck over there. Wonderful. So we're going to grab all these rocks. Because we will need rocks for things like fire pits. We can't build a bed but we are going to need to grab a bunch of sticks so four sticks for a fire pit there's a lot of stuff to do on the first day essentially first day is like oh i've got to survive the second day is i've got to survive but i've got a load of stuff third day is let's get off this island let's build ourselves a raft in fact if we grab enough stuff we might be able to build oh hello there's the aircraft carrier straight up aircraft carrier okay cool oh how many that's a hidden poison boy I hate the poison boys. They will poison you, and then you'll be just like, Oh no, I've been poisoned! And they're like, Ha ha, you've been poisoned. I don't know why. It's just their thing. It's their jimmy jam. Um, okay, cool. Hippity hops. Hippity hops. We got the hippity hops, but we haven't got the drops. There's no crate here. I don't have a crate for my face. And I'm stuck on physics. Okay, cool. That's wonderful. I didn't know the physics was going to be so much of a pain in my bum. But it is a pain in my bum. And then another poison boy. Why are all the poison boys here? It's like a poison boy convention. A convention for... Can we get in the water? Thank you. A, po a convention for poison boys. Also, the sun is doing battle with us. And I don't want to... I don't want to die because the sun is eating our face off. So we've got plenty of fish around the island, which is fine. The ocean is full of life, um, which is, you know, it's good. The music has stopped, which is bad. Generally, if the music stops, it means something is going to happen. Either the soundtrack has get, got to the end of its little playthrough, or, 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 or there's another poison boy. What is it with the poisons? I don't know. It's witchcraft. Um, we still haven't done a full, oh, 360 of the island, so I'm just grabbing a bunch of stuff. We do have a few more slots in our pants to pick things up, so that's fine. Um, but we are going to need to make some tools. So the tools are going to come from the rocks, which is why I'm invested in picking them all up. The crabs are crabby. There's an island over there. Right. There's a wreck over there. There's an island over there. There's an aircraft carrier there. And I bet... Oh, does that still have the... Yeah, it does. Uh, an island over there, an island over there. Okay, so this is kind of a, a nice world. The Big World update did move all of the islands around, so if you're coming back to the game for the first time in a while and you're just like, oh, but it's only 25 islands. Well, I've got news for you. It's 50 island tiles, 5-0. Um, there are three of them taken up with the boss monsters, so that gives you 47 island tiles, and one of them is taken up with an aircraft carrier, which gives you 46 potential islands in your game. There you go. There you go. If you didn't know, you do know now. So we're going to throw this down. I'm uh, going to throw this down. Okay, so we don't really have enough to build a raft. Hmm. Okay. 
So what we're going to do is craft a stone tool. Excellent. And then I'm going to tap that. Because I'm going to need to build crude axe. No, I'm not. I'm going to... We're going to get some lashings with a stone tool. Yes, we are. That's exactly what we're going to do. The stone tools have durability. If you didn't know that, it's no longer a free tool to go and beat plants up on your island. So if you're just like, I just want to biff some plants up, you know, really just get them all upset with a stone tool. It's free. It has no durability. No, stone tools now have durability, but you can use them almost all the way up and then turn them into another tool, which resets the durability. So that's fun. Here we are, a yucca. Mmm, a source of a lot of... A a, a lot of leaves. Six, I think. One, two, three, four, uh, five and six. Ah, come on. Come on, Denden. Come on. Uh, five and six. There we go. There is a baby yucca on there. Oh, yeah, there is. I thought they took them out, but they didn't. So you can actually plant a yucca in a farm plot. Although farm plots are oh, hmm, fruit. Farm plots are kind of um, a little tricksy because you've got to stay near your island and get them all watered up. I know you can put eight days worth of water in them, but who wants to do that? Not I. Oh, okay, cool. Um, got some more. Unfortunately, we can't see all of the leaves. If we can't see all the leaves, what we, what we could technically do is just stand here and start crafting rope. And that would use all the leaves that are in front of us. That is a little trick, so if you can't see, if you can't see the old um, fibrous leaves, then don't worry, you should be able to grab bonk, the rock from the beach. The rock of, I would say the rock of love, but it's more the rock of not dying because we're using it to uh, build stuff. Good, excellent. All these little purple plants are a juga that gives you a breath boost, but we don't need that for the time being. Um, in terms of raw materials, there's not really been that much on the island. Okay, let's see what we can do. We can craft rope. Excellent. Which means we can craft ooh, a fire torch. Hmm, we'll do that. We can craft fire. We're gonna need uh we're gonna need to make an axe. Okay, cool. So we can do one more of these. Then we can, uh, boop, 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 boop. what are we, what are we missing? One stick, one lashing. Hmm. Hmm. One lashing, one stick. It's not coming up in quick craft, but we should be able to just make a crude axe. Oh, it's level one. All right. I'm getting stuck because I forgot that we are, we are scrubbed here. We've got to go and, got to go and chop down a tree with a, with a, with a, with the stabby boy. Although we do have a machete. Eh. I mean, it's 100% durability. We could use the machete. And that is lethal, isn't it? I'm kind of keen just to not use it. Now, let's see what the machete does to this tree here. One, two, three, four. It's not as five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, the machete... The machete is not as good as, uh, it's, that's probably about as good as a knife to be honest. Um, it's not as good as an axe. So if you, if you're wondering whether to use the machete or the axe, and why do you keep saying machete instead of machete? Oh, well that's cause it's from the Grindhouse film. Machete. Cause it was Danny Trejo. And Danny Trejo, um, I think, who's, was it? Robert Rodriguez, Robert Rodriguez, uh, as the director. Was it Robert Rodriguez? I think so. Yeah. And uh, he was texting Danny Trejo, and Danny Trejo was like, uh, "It's like, why do you never respond to your text?" And Danny Trejo was like, "Machete don't text." So that's where machete don't text comes from, and the pronunciation of machete. Anyway, we're just hitting a we're hitting a tree. I don't know why we needed to do that. Um, uh, what, what leveled up? Physical, I think. Oh, cool. We can get physical, physical. Um, we're going to need to build a, a house, a shelter. We're going to need another lashing. Okay, cool. Make a lashing. Now can we make a house? We can make a house on the beach. A house fit for us. Hmm. I kind of wanted it here on the ridge line. Let's do this. So I'm going to, going to walk over here. As long as the stuff was in within 90 degrees, 
that's the wrong button. As long as the stuff is within 90 degrees of your field of vision, you can quick craft, grab it off the ground, and then, you know, if, even if it's not in your inventory, you can just grab it from the ground. Bonk. Cool, craftsmanship is leveled up. Now we can make an axe. Wonderful. Um, the other thing we're going to do is, I'm assuming we have enough stuff in front of us so we can make a fire. I will make a fire. Bonk. And then I will grab... Oh, the fire and the rocks need to be in front of you. Is that... Yeah. Okay. So we'll grab the rocks from the ground. There we go. So the fire is now there. Do we have any cloth? We do have cloth. Uh, can we make a smoker? No, we can't. It's level three. Level three? But we do need to make water still. Oh, no. Yeah, we do need to do that. We do need to be that boy. Otherwise, we will die of not having water. Um, what was the thing that we needed? So we need... Oh, coconuts. Grab the coconuts. What is the time of day? 1711. It's nearly it's nearly nightfall. Did I put the torch in my pants? No, I did not. We are running around without the pants, without the torch of love in my pants. I can just grab a coconut from a tree. Do not be tempted to nosh down a ton of coconuts to put them in your mouth and go, Mmm, this is coconut heaven. I do love these coconuts. Because you will find in short order that you are pooping everywhere. So I'll put that in my inventory just to have it in there. I was like, what is that noise? But the tides come in because we walked through there and it was beach and now it is, it is not beach, it is wet. So be very careful when you have your raft. If it is on, if it is on the shoreline and the tide comes in, it can float away because I've had one happen a few videos ago. It was like, why, why is my raft floating away? And it was like, well, it's floating away because it's, you know, tides come in, old chum, and now your raft's going. Um, 1745, 46, actually the sun is going down right now. I can just check my, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is craft down the lashing. Then I'm going to craft a coconut flask. Then I'm going to get the coconut flask and drink it. Then I'm going to go hands free. So you can, you can drink out of the coconut flask once you've made it, but you can't drink out of it, uh, bef uh, you can't just empty the coconut because that changes the coconut. Um, is the torch beam a little further forward or am I just imagining that? So it is going to get dark. Okay, cool. So um, it's going to get dark. We need some other bits and pieces. So we need another lashing. And okay, do we, ah, no, I don't want to turn that off. Another lashing. We got some rocks, and then we're going to need some sticks. Ah, uh, physics. Though sometimes the camera will jump around like a mad person, and you're like, why is it doing that? Why is the physics being so uncooperative? And the answer is uh, because your avatar is now hopping up and down like a mad person. We're going to uh, need two things. We need some sticks. Uh, we could technically just save and sleep, because water stills don't generate stuff during uh, water during the night so let's do that we'll save and then we'll sleep as we wake up uh those are seagulls just on the top of the screen weird why would they be there the time is 4 37 4 38 in the evening in the, in the morning um cool that doesn't help us at all oh those are bats squeaky bats someone was saying why are the bats in the game you can't do anything with them you can actually shoot them out of the sky you can hit them with an axe if they're close enough. You can snare them. Uh, you can eat the bats. It is quite possible to eat bat in this game. Um, but for the time being, they are just flying overhead and just doing the squeaky boys. Right, okay, so we've got some time before the sun comes up. Food and water are going to be a problem. I think we could probably just have a ration for the time being. Um, yeah, because if I, if I put the torch away, suddenly everything's going to get very dark. I was hoping it would just roll us through to the morning. That's a bit of an issue. I'm going to see if there's anything on the island that we can pick up. Um, oh, there's a virus leaf there. Neat. I think we've just grabbed everything on the outside of the island. I think we, we were that boy. Everything that could be grabbed has been grabbed. Um, we're still going to need rocks. What we could do is chop all the trees down. And then see if we can build a raft. We're going to need... Um, hmm, hmm. It's 14 sticks per raft bundle it's very expensive to make a raft but the yellow raft has one critical problem and the critical problem is this thusly if you happen to be out on the sea in oh there's a stick um if you have oh potatoes excellent a source of fuel um if you happen to be out on the sea oh another yucca excellent um if you have to be out on the sea 
in your raft, one of the things that can happen is that the yellow raft can be flipped over by sharks. So that's, uh, that's a fun thing that can happen. So we've got one stick. We need more sticks. And I don't have the more sticks. But uh, the, the moon is going down. It must be 547. So um, light is no longer going to be an issue for us if we look in the opposite of that direction. Oh, those are now seagulls. So the bats have gone away. The bats are no longer our problem. As the sun... Sun? Oh, I keep getting those two confused. The moon, which is a large ball of rock and ice uh, dips into the sea in the opposite direction. The sun rises a ball of uh, protons, positively charged protons, heliums, hydrogens, and all manner of things that go bump in the night. Ah yes, the sun rises up and it, it will be very small in the morning. And when it's midday, you look at the sun and it will be very big. Um, there is a few things this game does magnificently. One of them is the water is very cloudy and opaque in the in the morning and um, in the afternoon about between 10 and 2 uh, it is clear and uh, crystalline and beautiful so yeah there are there are some things this game does very very well but we are going to need to move on so we know that the machete 96.6 we chopped down one tr uh, yeah we lost 3.1% durability chopping down a tree what what witchcraft is this um, but we're going to need to do it again um, can we can we afford to? No, but we can build a hammer. Wonderful. Um, can we afford to? So we're gonna need a coconut flask, which we have. Oh, it's level two. That's why we can't build it. Oh, I was like, yes, let's make the water still, so we don't die. No, we gotta build a bunch of other stuff. So we built a fire pit. Let's build a fire spit. Um. Yeah, why not? Bonk, why not? Uh, and then we're going to need some other things, other bits and pieces. Right, fine, whatever. What, whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to start making... Uh, so we need two, one... No, oh, we need another lashing. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. We can get away without chopping an entire tree down. Because there's ficus trees here. That's fine. So what we can do is just go craft lashing. Uh, we can craft on the coconut flask. Weird. All right. Um, grab those two. Excellent. The guy on the the guy on the clarinet or the oboe. There's a clarinet or an oboe. It's going mental in the background. They're just like, oh, you know what? I've got one job, and it's to play this play this clarinet. And I'm like, yeah, thanks, thanks, my dude. Wonderful. Um, so we're gonna go over here. Ah, another fibrous leaf. Excellent. And chop this boy down. This uh, ficus. Bonk, bonk. There's a ficus. Yeah, I get the ficus mixed up with a weeping fig. Weird. The weeping fig, very popular in restaurants in the, in the 80s. You go to an uh, Italian restaurant and it's like, oh yes, we've got weeping figs. Right, um, what were we building? We were building the crudax. Okay, cool. So we're going to need another one of these. Craftsmanship. Oh, leveled up. Oh, can we build something? Ah, yes we can. Can we build a water still? Yes we can. Boom, water still. That's a terrible place for a water still. That's also a terrible place. Uh, that's not so much of a terrible place. Okay, cool. So do we have any... Oh, we don't have any of the... Oh, I've used all my sticks. Right, okay. Okay. So we're just going to take some more sticks from here. Because we're going to need to make ourselves. Okay. I'm a little bit worried this... The island doesn't have that many trees on it. We might have to go from one island to another with our, our little yellow boy raft. Not so keen on that. Not keen on that at all, but okay, cool. I'm also going to get rid of... Uh, uh, no, no. Okay, calm down. Push push tab, empty hands. Excellent. Um, so we're going to need to uh, tap that. I'm tapping the wrong buttons. I'm getting myself all confused. I need one lashing. And then I can make a crude axe. Okay, cool. So we will do this. We don't have enough stuff for a lashing. One of three. No. I was I was the boy that was getting ahead of myself. One more lashing. Hmm. So the interesting thing is you can... Oh, did we lose one here? Yes, we did. There we go. I remember I remember. Um, there was a, a, a leaf that we couldn't see. So we found it. Excellent. 
Um, so we can now build the crude axe. Wonderful. The crude axe is actually a really good model. Like, uh, as a model, I think the crude axe is, is almost nicer than the refined axe. Which you can't get until you kill a shark. Or a giant pig. Or just a regular pig. So that's fun. Um, in terms of food and water, food and water sitch is kind of, well, not good. So we're, we're walking around like we, uh, like a butts are on, uh, made of jello. Ah, uh, okay, slight problem. We're not going to be able to build a loom, and these trees don't regrow. For anyone saying, ah, the trees regrow, they survived. One. Or is that, in Ro is that Roman numeral rather than a one? Weird. Weird. I'm just going to chop this tree down. Bonk. Okay, cool. Grab you, grab you, and chop this one down as well. So the fibrous leaves will come back. We don't need to worry about that. They, they'll come back every three days. So we can grab those. The carbon spear gun, well, the regular spear gun, uh, they count as the regular spear gun arrows. So we're not going to take out shark with four carbon spear gun arrows. It's just not going to happen. Um, don't worry about that. We're chopping all these, we're chopping this stuff down, but we're also causing a bit of a problem for ourselves because now we're going to be doing battle with the sun because there's no shadows to hide in. You've actually got to physically be in a shadow like this in order for the sun not to eat your face off. Which is, um, as you as you can imagine, a bit of an issue. Uh, we also have some crates though, so we can go and store some stuff in the crates. Ah oh, yes, because these guys got now uh, more slots. Let's do that. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, yes, cool. So we can store a bunch of stuff in here. We could technically just jump in this thing. Ah, uh, I want my want my axe back. Oh yeah, because the ah, uh, okay, cool. Just to keep the keep the beach clean, right? Okay, cool. Uh, the birds are being birds. Wonderful. They're sort of mocking us for our lack of flight. Also, kind of interesting. Um, hmm. Okay, so we haven't done too bad. We've got a water still, which has got a little bit of water in it. We're going to need to put some stuff in there, though. Um, but we don't have any more fibrous leaves, so we can't can't do that. We don't have any more palm tops, so we can't do that. Hello, fibrous leaf. You are going to come. Bonk. Durability on that knife. Yeah, look, the durability on the machete. Chopping down trees with the with the knives is, is not good. Hmm. Mm, okay. 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 So what I might do is take a, another tree out. Because we can use that for Oh! If we get a load of fibrous leaves, we can make a loom, and with the loom we can make a sail, and with the sail we can make a picture of the queen okay yeah i got a plan i got a plan it's not a good plan but it's still a plan right fine um cool so we don't need the palm tops for anything else other than just to smash them in the into sort of leafy bits with an axe and that will give us eventually oh come on come on come on come on Three, four. grab four of those and then we can throw them throw them in the bottom there Four. We can also use them as fuel, and we can go, we can go, mmm, fresh, homegrown water, wonderful. Can we jump on this? Oh no, this doesn't have a collision box anymore. Weird. Strange, 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 strange. Okay, cool. So, 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 we've made a mess of the beach. I'm gonna be honest, we've, we've come to this island, which was beautiful, and then we've chopped down on the trees and uh, made a mess of the beach, but we are surviving. It's the it's now into the second day. We've got our carbon spear gun, which is quite frankly amazing. I'm so, so glad. Um, that is New Game Plus, so if you've completed the game on any difficulty setting, uh, on your new game you can get the option to get the crate, and with the crate you get the option to get the carbon spear gun. So that's uh, that's kind of cool. Um, so if you wanted to know how to get that, that's it. That's literally it. So I'm going to leave it there for the time being. If you like this, definitely leave a little like. Likes help the video. Um, leave a subscribe because subscriptions help the channel. And I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>